Hello all. I will show you today how to practice Unix, how to practice Unix commands without installing Unix in your system. This is Raj. <clears throat> I wanted to show you today. You can practice Unix commands without without installing Unix in your system. How to do that? Okay. Before going to that, I want to show you something. Actually, there are two tools, two types of tools in Unix. In uh, Unix is an operating system. So there are two tools. One is graphical user interface, and this command line interface. So command line interface, okay, we will use putty tool to, to write the commands in the command line interface. WinSCP, we will use, we will use for graphical user interface. Both, both will be to access Unix file system. We will use putty and WinSCP tools. Okay, now how to practice Unix commands, where we can practice Unix commands without, without installing Unix in our system. How to do it? Open Google Chrome first. First open Google Chrome, then type linuxzoo.net. Linuxzoo, just type it linuxzoo, okay? When you type in linuxzoo, it'll, it'll open like this, click on this. After that, what you have to do? In the account links, you click on register for an account. You click on register for an account. When you click on register for an account, then it'll ask to proceed registration, click here. Okay, here, what, what I have done? So I have, what I have done? I have opened Google Chrome, then in that Linux Zoo, I searched it, in that open Linux Zoo.net website, in that, in the logon, you have to open register for an account, then click here. After this, you have to write your username. That means email ID. Your, my email ID is info dot infraraj, infraraj10 at gmail.com. Okay. So this is my email ID. Password, you give your own password and type the password again and give your name. Okay. Give your first name and last name. And so program info, just interested. That's it. So give your username as email ID, password, first name, last name, and accept. Click on register. When you click on register, it will show you account expires in 14 days. So 14 days you can practice. After that, one more account you can create. After that, one more one more Gmail ID you can use it and you can create it. Okay. Now click here to continue. Once you click here to continue, it will it will open this here. Usernames, passwords are there. Root and secure. Now first thing you need to do is join queue. The first thing you have to do is join queue. Once you click on join queue, then click on switch on. Once you click on switch on, okay, then you can see here all the details. Now we have created our account in linuxu.net Unix server. We have created an account. Now where we can use this account? For that, first we need to install Putty software. Putty, download Putty for Windows 11 or Windows 10, whatever it is. Okay, Putty for Windows 10. Open it. Okay, then click this. Download Putty. Click it. Click on the first one. When you click on the first one, it will ask, okay? It will ask. So now double click on it. It has downloaded. Click on next, next, install. When you click on install, click on yes. When you click on install, click on yes. Okay, next, finish. When you click on finish, then putty will, putty window will open. Otherwise, search for putty, P-U-T-T-Y. Search for putty, okay? P U T T Y. Okay. Open it. Once you open, then it will ask the host name. Host name can be found from here, linuxu.net. Host name can be find, find from linuxu.net. Okay. So here, SSH is there. Now, this is our host name. Copy paste this host name. Okay. Go to this putty window. Put it on it. Click on open. When you click on open, it will ask the username. Login as this root and secure root maximize it this is a username this is a password root secure root is my username root and password is s e c u r e so the cursor will not move the cursor will not move when you write the password still you have to write it s e c u r e type it enter 
when you enter it it has logged in okay now you can create you can you can you can practice your commands like pwd present working directory calendar cal command date date command okay ls to list the directories okay all these commands we can practice it in in where in the putty in the putty same way we have graphical user interface that is winscp what you need to do in the chrome you write it download winscp for windows 10 you type it download winscp for windows 10 click on it then download it once you download it it will download automatically so save it in the download folders you save it so now you double click on this install for all users or install me only also fine click on yes accept next 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 install so it will install so once you install winscp once you install winscp click on next then click on open launch or just finish it uncheck it finish done now what you need to do in the search button give winscp winscp open it same here also you need to log in with user id and password okay so click on this new space new site click on this new site here what you need to do is go to your linuxu.net copy paste this linuxu.net okay and give the host name here host name is linuxu.net root this username is these things root and secure root username is root password is secure password is secure okay click on login once you log in it will click on yes it will so it will log in now this right side window is unix server this left side window is our desktop my c drive d drive my my laptop if you want to transfer any file from windows to unix just suppose agentsperm.txt just drag it to unix okay now this agents.param.txt is available in where in winscp okay now you can see the same thing in the putty also you can if you want to see in winscp graphical user interface double click on it it will open if you want to same if you want to see the same file in putty command line then just give ls see agents.param.txt has come okay now if you want to see the contents of the file okay cat agents.param.txt check same files this is command line interface this is this is graphical user interface same way you can create your own folder right click on this okay click on new file folder directory file directory or link whatever it is or you can drag from here you can drag from here to here also suppose in deployment if you want to drag from unix to windows drag it it will drag it like this okay so this is how you can work on winscp in real time also if you want to open any directory just click on this you give the directory path it will directly open it okay if you want to if you want to give the permissions go to properties give all the permissions for the file like this multiple things we can do it in unix so this is called this is how we can win scp and putty we can use it by using by using linuxu.net we can practice it okay so hope you like hope you like my video so please subscribe my channel and also please like my video if you like my video please comment on it thank you all good day bye bye see you guys thank you bye bye